but this was to be no typical package holiday. Our first stop in the main city, Almaty, was to potentially one of the most dangerous places in the world. This used to be a secret Soviet biological weapons factory. The Kazakhs were in no hurry to close it down. Now it's a plague research centre. So where are we going now? Museum of the Life Culture. The Museum of Life Culture. OK, and this is where you keep your stocks. Anthrax? Yes. And these? Plague. Plague. This plague is in plague, here. Plague, 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 plague. That's a lot of plague. Yes. <laughs> OK. Hold your breath, everybody. So this is, uh, this is anthrax in these four canisters here. So that's anthrax. What do we have there? This has just been... Oh, oh. <laughs> Did you try and touch the anthrax there, Simon? Certainly not. What is this? Tolerimia, Francisella tolerensis. Have we heard of that? Uh, I haven't heard of that. What is it? What sort of is that a, is that a nasty disease? The plague's little sister. Little, that lovely description you have for it. Did you say it's much more attractive? Is that what they no, watch it? You made that up. <laughs> In the next room, one of the hundred types of bubonic plague they keep here was being tested on a guinea pig. So how quickly will that take to act on the animal? In three days it will be very ill, and in five days it will be dead. Presumably um, the little raised platform there is to stop anything escaping. Um, I'm entirely confident about that. It's extraordinary to think about that. I mean, we're actually not that far from Afghanistan. We're not that far from places where uh, terrorist groups, extremist people linked to Al Qaeda um, are living quite relatively openly. And it's quite clear that there's a risk to this type of institute from those sort of individuals. They would love to break in here. They would love to get hold of this stuff. Um, and frankly, the security, although it's been improved, is still pretty lax. Quick guide to play. The director of the institute was the boss here during Soviet times. He didn't exactly reassure us about the security situation. If I want to spread a virus, as a scientist, I can infect myself, go outside, infect other people with the virus, and then I can cure myself. I could do this. If I was paid enough. It's not asking too much of a highly committed terrorist to get scale that relatively low fence, get in here at night. There's no evidence of there's no CCTV cameras that we can see. There's no security patrols, there's no attack dogs or anything like that. It's hardly inconceivable to imagine that people who are prepared to fly planes into buildings would be committed and able to do that. They certainly would be willing and able to do it. And what's really worrying is that there are other institutes just like this in Kazakhstan, which aren't as well defended, they're not as well protected. This is actually one of the better ones. 